<clears throat> a little quick video here. I want to say that people all over the world are protective of Queen Elizabeth. I mean, she's an international treasure and beloved by many and respected and, and admired. And the thing is, we do not like Meghan attacking the Queen. I mean, and also she's an elderly woman and she's an icon. She's seriously the longest reigning monarch of England and she is an icon. And we just de we definitely take offense at the way Meghan and Harry have treated the Queen. I said, and we're not even relatives. We are just fans and admirers from afar. So that's one of the reasons why we pushed back against them because we do not like the way they have treated her. I said, last week I sent her a card saying how much I admire her and I'm sorry she's been having such a tough year and I just want to cheer her up because I mean she's had a bad time in her old age and with the family just all kind of troubles so um, we're definitely protective of the Queen and that's why we do not take take Megan's um, nastiness lightly that's why we're up here waiting to see what the outcome of this showdown is going to be. And we are definitely rooting for the queen. I said, and so many people, you know, like our fans of the monarchies because it's like, it's magical. It's their, their childhood, it's their dreams. You know, and it's fun to keep up with them. You know, it's fun to know that there's still some of that, a little bit of magic is still staying around. Now, I said, these days... I think the constitutional monarchy like they have has worked pretty well because I mean, the royals are mostly ambassadors. They're mostly like a class of ambassadors and figureheads of the nation. They're not, they're not off with your head or anything because th those kind of monarchs didn't last. But the interesting thing would be is could new monarchies form these days? <laughs> because I just wonder. I mean, I guess if you went by Hallmark, you probably would say new monarchies should form because they're always having videos about princes marrying the commoners. Because that seems to be everybody's dream, even today. <laughs> Odd enough that the dreams are still the same as they were back in the day of Cinderella. Everyone wants to marry, all the ladies want to marry princes. So it's an interesting thought if there could be more monarchies pop up today. But hey, you never, ever know. But if they did, they'd probably have to be more constitutional because the other kind are just too unfair, the kind throughout history. But anyway, so, so as it is really funny how Harry has just left everything to be a camp follower. I mean, it's really disgraceful and embarrassing. But like I said in my previous video, they don't disgrace easily. I remember there's this one old cheap film when Paulette Goddard was supposed to be in love with a, with a, a bandit, I think it was Pedro Gomez or something, one of those guys from the 40s or 50s, and so she was some rich lady, she gave up everything she had to walk barefoot across the sands and follow him in his travels. But that, <laughs> and that apparently is what Harry has done, and he doesn't apparently have any regrets, and we'll see if he ever does. But it's just too much to ask. But apparently that is what he has done. And it's and being a royal is just all the more embarrassing. And he's not even going to be going quietly like, you know, the former king and Wallace Simpson. They were pretty quiet. But you can count and <laughs> Harry wasn't even going to be king. You can count on them being very, very loud and causing quite a few ruckuses over the years because they want attention. Like I said, they still, and I feel it so far, they are still, they're getting their way of being part-time royals because they are still speaking to the patronages. They still have their patronages. They're still representing the royals. So far, they are getting their way. And that is something that is a problem. But I said, the question is, is the queen going to be able to the evidence against them and you know using their titles to profit it's all there it's all there and it's embarrassing for the for the UK and angering the taxpayers and like I said if they want to be out they go away and don't bother anybody in the UK 
that's basically what is wanted. But they're just determined to continue to try to stay in the spotlight. And another thing, they should not, I can understand why they tried to butter up the Queen and Charles in their book. Because they know which side their bread is buttered on and they know who's paying their bills. <clears throat> However, I think it was a mistake that they attacked William and Kate because guess who's going to be king in the not too distant future? I mean, you don't know if Charles will get in 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years on the throne, depending if he lives to be 95 or his health permits it. But we're guessing Charles won't be staying in as long as the queen. So William is going to be taking the throne in 10 or 15 years, and um, that'll put Harry and Meghan in a little bit of a bad position because... They shouldn't have done it. They shouldn't be bad-mouthing the people, but I guess everybody has some bad family members that always cause trouble, and apparently these two take the cake. Of all bad family members who cause trouble in the family, these two are the king and queen of the troublemakers. So, And as for their future in Hollywood, I don't, if they are, I would be surprised if they would be able to get somebody to back them in some venture because you know these are people they are not going to be satisfied with little zero budget films for for Megan to get a film that she wants to be in it would have to be you know multi-million dollar film and and it would take a lot of money and of course they can't afford it because they can barely afford to stay in their house without assistance and so they cannot afford themselves. I mean, little independent filmmakers like me, who's used to being on zero string budgets, would be able to make a million films with a million dollars. <laughs> but, but people like them, they are used to the best, the top of the line, and the top of the line means millions and millions and hundreds of millions of dollars to make a film. And like I said, with Hollywood the way it is, collapsing, California's burning, I hear all the Hollywood people are moving to Nashville. So maybe the capital of the film industry is going to move too. And we'll see what happens. But I don't see her starring in movies because she can't handle the roles. She doesn't have the acting chops. She just doesn't. And we will all surely, I said, if she would star in a major motion picture with a meaty role, I would sit, I would go to see it because I would like to critique it. But for the most part, I think she'll get cameos. Cameos and just trading off her reputation and her titles. Oh dear, heaven forfend. But we'll have to wait and see what becomes of Meghan Antoinette and Hollywood Harry. They put out so many puff pieces praising themselves that we never know what is true and what isn't. But they are definitely in their favor. I will say they are the reality comedy show that keeps on giving. Well, some of you might get really mad about it, but especially the, t the UK taxpayers. But a lot of us are just going to sit back and laugh. But we will defend the Queen. And we will defend the, the good royals, William and Kate. And we are, do not take lightly these rogues trying to break up the government. It's like a national offense. A terrible offense. So that's why we keep talking about them. Because they are notorious. They are the most disliked couple in the world. And we are just waiting to see them fade into the privacy that they claim to want so badly. Let freedom ring.